A foot long submarine, two scoops of butter pecan. All wheat, BLT, mmm, steak diet. Bringing you Korean street food with a little timber flair, a little timber love. Uh, we are open currently seven days a week. You can check us out on Twitter and Facebook to find the hours. Um, come visit us, eat a lot. <laughs> Hello. Hi. How's it going? Good. Oh, it's raining. Yeah, it's Portland. It always fucking rains. Yes. <laughs> this is the next six months of our life. This. Yes. Sorry. Rain. I'm happy now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Wyatt. Socks. What's your name? I'm Beds. Timber. White wet socks. <laughs> I'm Allie. Nice to meet you. My name is Christopher. <laughs> I like to put things in my mouth. <laughs> I like food a lot. Yeah? Yeah. What kind of food? Lots of food. Meat, vegetarian, vegan, wheat. <laughs> wheat and meat. Our what what came inspired when I threw my shoulder out and had to sit on a bed in a on a what? couch for three days. Because I couldn't use my arm. So she had to work. Yeah. So heaven in a bag. Frito chips. Um the Fritos in the corn and everything added with all of it is really nice because it's kind of like I don't know, a different touch on things, like expanding, and the meat's really fucking good. And this is the magic right here. We have spicy Korean style pork that we braise um, with kimchi, mushrooms, garlic, and some sweet corn. And we're going to top that with a little slaw. Our magical sesame vinaigrette, more kimchi, and we have a chili lime sour cream, and to spice it all up, some pickled serrano peppers. Done! That is the what what. I love how fucking spicy it is. I feel like a lot of food people are scared to make it spicy. So if you don't like spicy food, maybe not the place for you. So, what made you want to open a food cart? Um, I've been in the industry for about 16 years, mm -hmm. and she's been in the front of the house side of the industry for about 10 years. And we just started talking about it about three years ago, and I decided to hop on a plane and go to Korea for a year, and I came back opening a Korean car. So. Nice. Got thick, they go thick noodles that are soaking up those juices. And we got red and green cabbage, green onions, and then there's actually a little garlic in the sauce too. There is our scissors. We're going to just top that with a little bit of fresh slaw for crunch and some sesame seeds and this dish we serve up street style so you just stab with a little skewer and eat put it in your mouth bing <laughs> mm. oh, it's very chewy so these are really big rice noodles yeah, that's what my understanding is then, if they're gluten-free. Gluten-free noodles, in your mouth. Or my mouth, in your mouth. No wheat, no meat, still good. <laughs> we um, built the trailer out in Selwood, and then we moved here in April and opened our doors. Nice. Not going anywhere. Nice. It's been going good then? Yeah. Yeah. And we're really hoping the community continues to embrace us through the winter. Yeah. I mean, 
mean, there's a nice little. Yes, we built canopies part. this week. Yeah. So yeah. Nice. Now you can stay dry. Yeah. And there'll be heaters in a few days. Nice. No. This is the magical rock before we fry it. And we're gonna crisp it up, give it a nice crispy exterior. And for the rock, which is finishing up, we have our house gochujang, which is a sweet chili sauce. And we put that all over the seaweed so it holds the rock together. That is the rock. And we just set it on the seaweed. Wrap it up so you don't burn your fingers on the crispy rice. And then we serve it with our house crack sauce, which is addictive, and we're not responsible for addictions, just so you know. All right, gonna bite. It's like a sandwich. <laughs> it is deliciously fried in rice and some cabbage and carrots and some really like I really like this I don't know the sauce it was really good because it's a little spicy a little spicy not too spicy yeah a little bit sweet too best tasting rock I've ever put in my mouth maybe not the first rock I'm not sure I put a lot of things in my mouth as a kid I have to say though, what what is probably my favorite because it's like a good mixture of, I feel like, a lot of things which I appreciate. Um, I really did like the others, and it's also really nice to see um, some gluten free options and some vegetarian and vegan options. I haven't really found a lot of carts I feel like that um, had all of those options, you know, and meat. I think this one is by far my favorite. The what what with the meat and the Fritos, and the cabbage, and I'm not a huge cabbage fan, but it really works here. Um, and it's got a little kick, like a little spice with the jalapenos. Oh, well, thank you, dear. A foot-long submarine, two scoops of butter pecan, all we 